Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Villarreal, Technical Advocate for Netbox, and today we're going to be looking at a new feature that is in 3.4. We're going to focus on saving of filters in this video. So traditionally in Netbox, and we'll go ahead and jump over to 3.3.10, the last 3.3 version of Netbox. If we want to create a filter to view data in a specific way. So we're going to focus on the tenant of Dunder Mifflin. And when we do this search, we're going to return all of the sites that belong to Dunder Mifflin. But if we navigate away from sites, you can see that that filter resets. And actually I didn't navigate away as much as I just refreshed, but then we can apply it again and it comes back. But then again, the same thing, once we navigate away or refresh, filters have been cleared out. In 3.4, there's a new mechanism that allows you to save a search and apply that search across different, across different objects and different um, models. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll create a search for the tenant of Dunder Mifflin. And now we see the option to actually save that, that search. So if we click on save, we'll be able to save this as Dunder Mifflin search. Uh, we'll create a slug for that, which happens automatically. Uh, and you can see down here the actual filter that's being applied. So uh, Dunder Mifflin within this instance has a tenant ID of number five. So here is that, uh, that parameter. But under content types, you can also expand these saved filters to do more than just uh, view a single object type. So we have sites. Uh, let's say we also want to apply that to devices. That would be another good one. We'll go ahead and create that saved filters. Uh, you can see all of the existing saved filters. Uh, if you navigate down to other and into saved filters, you'll see a listing of them. And then again, what they apply to and what the filter parameters are. So now if we go back to sites, over to filters, we have an option here that says saved filter. And since we saved that filter and made it applicable to sites, we can go ahead and search on that and we get our Dunder Mifflin sites coming back. Uh, but we also set that to be applicable under devices. So we'll go ahead and pivot over to devices, go to filters, saved filter. We do see our Dunder Mifflin search and we search. And now we have just returned the devices. Uh, to, to further drive that point home, if we were to go over to prefixes and look for a saved filter, same search does not apply there since we did not set it that way, but it'd be as easy as going back to that save filter, changing it, adding in the IPAM data that we were just looking at. I believe we were looking at prefixes. So now we see that applies to prefix. We can go over to IPAM, over to prefixes, find that saved filter and apply it. Hopefully you find this method of saving searches or saving filters and being able to apply them differently is useful to you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.